Hey guys, and welcome to the new episode of GGN. I am again sorry for the delay. I have no excuses this time. I'm just lazy. There's not been too much that's new going on with me. I may or may not have mentioned before, I'm taking sign language classes now. It's been really fun and really cool. A lot of the signs are really, uh, you can plainly see where they come from. I guess my biggest problem would be with the sign for born, uh, which is this, because apparently it just slides right out. Now I have not given birth, um, so I may not be on the up and up with the facts, but as far as I am told, uh, giving birth is actually quite difficult. Unless, of course, we go back to our hot dog down a hallway analogy. I also recently went to see two movies, uh, Mission Impossible 4 and Chronicle. Now, I've never seen any of the other Mission Impossibles because Tom Cruise can suck my dick. Um, I don't want any of his Scientology nonsense seeping into my brain somehow. I went to see this one because the director is Brad Bird, who has previously only done animation. He's best known for The Incredibles, which is exactly what a title says. It's an amazing, incredible movie. Also for the Pegster, because I love Simon Pegg with the Fiery Passion with Thousand Sons. And I actually had a lot of fun while watching the movie. Uh, it's pretty funny. There's a lot of great action scenes, of course. That's what it's known for. I was, like, ripping the sides of the seat off at a couple of scenes because they're just so suspenseful. Gotta say, though, as crazy as he was, the bad guy was kind of disappointing. Speaking of bad guys, that brings me to Chronicle. Now, a lot of people I know have never heard of this movie. Myself had only heard about it about two weeks before we went to see it. Um, it's a found footage sci-fi kind of movie. Think Cloverfield minus like the creepy booger monster. It's about three kids in high school who find something, you never find out what it is, um, and after they touch it they have telekinetic powers. And one of the kids goes batshit insane and shit gets for real. Now, normally found footage movies are really lame. Uh, they never explain why you can see what's going on, even though it's supposed to be one person holding the camera and all kinds of technical issues. But they did a really good job with this in covering that circumstance. Without giving anything away, one of the main characters is carrying a camera, and so we're mostly from his point of view. But anytime we see him on film, he is either holding the camera with his mind, with his telekinetic powers, or there's another girl in the high school that is a vlogger, and it's from her point of view. So they did a really good job of covering their bases as to why you can see all sides of the story. Now the screenplay is by Max Landis, who is the son of John Landis, uh, best known for movies like Animal House. And this is obviously fucking yards away from Animal House. But it is honestly uh, probably the best found footage movie I've ever seen, um, and one of the best sci-fi slash superhero movies I've ever seen as well. It's done with a lot of realism, um, with characters that you can both relate to, cheer for, despise a little bit, feel sorry for. Um, it's actually quite the emotional roller coaster, And of course a lot of shit blows up. So Mission Impossible 4 and Chronicle, both definitely worth a check out. So I consider myself a pretty easygoing, non-judgmental person. And yet on a day-to-day -day basis, I am driven to a point where I wish I could set people and things on fire with my mind. So I'm going to take this opportunity now to uh, throw down some grievances and talk about the shit that gets under my skin. Now these are not going to be serious issues, this is shallow pet peeve shit. Because if I start talking about animal abuse or Dolores Umbridge, I am just going to crack your screen with my fury, and I don't want to do that because I like you and I don't want to put you out of pocket. For example, I really fucking hate it when you're walking down the sidewalk and there's a group of people in front of you walking in a line. I'm sorry, is this grade four? Are we playing Red Rover? Share the fucking sidewalk. Uggs, they are stupid and expensive and do not belong in Canada. They're not waterproof, they're not snowproof, and in fact, back in their homeland of Australia, where they come from, uh, Uggs are slippers, and if you were to be caught outside of the house in them, some Aussie would probably, like, put a boomerang to the back of your head. Girls that go outside during the winter in their tiny slutty dresses, and then go, oh, I'm so cold. Good, freeze your stupid skanky nipples off. I hate people that play their music publicly. Put on some fucking headphones. I hate hat head. I hate when you get tea from a coffee shop and they don't tuck the tag into the corner of the lid, so then a little bit of tea drips down and makes the tag wet and it always slaps you in the back of the hand. It's gross because it's reminiscent of when you take a giant deuce in the washroom and then the fucking toilet water splashes you in the ass. 
There's a reason the word moist is considered disgusting. I hate uppity homeless people. Homeless people that ask you for change and then when you say you don't have any, they're like, fuck you. Listen, I do not have any motherfucking change. It is 2012. Do you take visa? The wind. Because you know what? That sexy summer breeze that you get in the middle of June does not make up for all the times that the wind throws snow and rain in your face. I hate people that play the race card when it doesn't even make sense. I hate bad tippers. You know what? You can keep your 46 cents. Stop wearing socks with sandals. Yes, even if they're Birkenstocks. Your really deep side part is really fucking stupid. Honestly, no one should look like they have a bad comb over until they're at least 50. I hate when I see shit from the corner of my eye and I totally freak out, but then when I turn around, there's nothing there. Oh, oh, it's just the coat rack. And I really hate it when it seems like my cat is seeing something I can't. Thanks, 25 years of ghost stories. When people ask if my piercings hurt, they shoved metal through my flesh. I hate when my cat uses the litter box and then decides it's time to cuddle. Oh, oh, fiends, oh. Fuck Bono. Fuck Ben Affleck. Fuck Quentin Tarantino in his stupid douchey face. I hate when you drop a coin and then spend like half an hour trying to pick it up. Ah, oh, shit. Of all the things that I believe, I truly, firmly, passionately believe that if you let someone cut in front of you in traffic, or you open a door for them, or you help them pick something up, any kind of niceness that you go out of your way for, and they do not give you a nod or a wave, or any kind of acknowledgement of thank you, you have the right to punch them full on in the face. I also believe that the only reason that is not a law is because people would be getting punched in the face left, right, and center. I hate jumping jacks. Apparently I've been doing that shit ass backwards since grade school. Yeah, apparently your arms are supposed to come up when your legs go out, not the other way around. I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better now. So that's all for now, guys. As always, send me your questions, concerns, suggestions, whatever. ggnwng at gmail.com or you can reply on the page. Bye for now.